Exactly. Like crazy, yeah. like a crazy woman. <laughs> no. <laughs> and uh, so what I did is um, I, I had the I had the great chance to work with some beautiful children from um, a school from my old neighborhood, and I'm building them a garden, and I want them to have a beautiful school community garden, and um, I'm teaching the kids about planting seeds and the ecosystem and earthworms and bees and soil, and uh, we're now entering our fourth week, and uh, we've got the kids excited, and we started planting already in our little egg cartons, and they're starting to sprout. And What are you growing? Food? Uh, yeah, so um, I'm building a garden. I've divided it into uh, four little quadrants, and there's going to be like... At the little, school. At the school. And um, I'm utilizing things from the winery, like old barrels, old tires, skids, and I'm modifying it, and, and the kids will help me, and we'll paint it. And uh, we'll have our prayer garden, our vegetable garden, flower garden. And the coolest thing is that uh, my friends from Stoke Seeds hooked me up with these magical pumpkin seeds. So we're going to have giant pumpkins too, and the kids are just going to love it. So another whole family. Yeah, and this is just here. yeah, and this is just something that I did. You know, I I decided a couple uh, months ago instead of going to Starbucks every morning, even though I love it, I'm going to just take that money <laughs> and put it towards my garden fund. So I've been um, u using that to buy seeds and soil and calling up some friends and they've been really supportive so if anyone out there has any topsoil they want to get rid of or uh, planters or anything that these kids can use um, I'll take it and um, we'll, we'll reuse it and modify and make this school uh, special. Now you are the calendar girl for grapes for humanity. Yes. Grapes for humanity. <laughs> so a few years ago there was this uh, amazing calendar that came out and uh, they put together a few females from around uh, Ontario and uh, I ended up posing with the barrel and I got a little comfortable and uh, <laughs> so um, they, they made me miss November and miss October and uh, that one beautiful picture of me hugging the, the barrel follows me wherever I go and uh, it's kind of cool because actually the, um, the CEO of that uh, barrel company saw that picture and purchased it and it's now in his office. So. I wish he knew that I used his barrels and maybe he could send me a few free ones. For it's not a little creepy? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of is, but you know what? My face isn't showing. It's just my shoulder and my back. So. Lydia Tomek is my guest just on the way out. Lydia, just yeah. to give us uh, your Twitter account, anything else you want to promote, websites or foundations, any ways that oh, uh, the public sure. can get a hold of you. Um, I have my own website. It's uh, www.lydiatomek.com, and I'm constantly posting things that are going on, as well as my uh, Facebook account, which is Lydia Tomek Winemaker, and my Twitter account, which is at Lydia Loca. So, uh, I'll, you know, follow me. I'll take you along for a ride, and uh, you'll get to see, like, not only the hard work that goes in making the wine, but the fun that goes afterwards in enjoying it. I really appreciate you coming in. I haven't given prizes away. I don't even know if I'm allowed to do that for other people other than sponsors. Not sure if Herner is one, but if they're not, we'll make you one. Yeah. I'm going to leave some complimentary passes with Jonesy here. Absolutely. If you want to text 61010 and you want some complimentary wine tasting passes down to Herner Estates, you can call in 905-688-2582. We'll make sure there's some of those here for you. You can pick them up maybe on Monday. We're closed today. Really appreciate your time. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you And for the much. line, you're Cheers. welcome to stick around. No Jonesy's going to come in next after he engineers this next bumper with Corey Cruz. Oh, he's so good. Jonesy is good, eh? He's cute, too. He's married. Just stay away. So am I, but <laughs> we can look. Corey Cruz will play some more bumper music. We'll talk to David Jones just for a... Quick segment on the way out, and then we're going to talk to Corey Cruz on what it's like to be a rock star in Niagara. Right here on 610 CKTB.